Okay, so this is the first tutorial in the series for this project. Okay, uh, working in Maya, and this is your first project. We'll be modeling this uh, Adidas logo uh, with uh, uh, lighting, rendering, and animation. And uh, we'll also, at the end, you'll be animating this, where here's a shot. So this is a, a logo reveal where, boom, 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 see? So you'll be animating this, not too hard, uh, not too complicated, and with the render quality of this. Okay. Um, what else? So there's a total. There's a total of uh, about 39. It should be 39 tutorials. Yeah, 39 tutorials. Each tutorial is about seven minutes, give or take, and maybe the last couple will be about 10, 13 minutes, 11 minutes, and the last one is 20 minutes. Okay step-by-step step, um, really thorough and um, methodical okay and short for each one you just have to click through more tutorials all right so that's that this is what we're gonna make um, in this tutorial what we're gonna do is uh, I'll go over discussing setting up, setting up your project project uh, your project folder and also setting up image planes uh, image plane, one image plane, so we can model off of. So let me go to uh, file, new scene. Don't render. All right. Uh, let me see here. So for the image plane, uh, this is our image plane. Let me pull it up. Okay. So this is the image plane, and we're gonna dump this in here. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so here's the image. So we're gonna go to hmm, first. Uh, first, let me go over the setting up your your folder system. So for Maya, all right. So project window. Okay. So Maya project window. Now, the way Maya is structured is that it sets up all of these folders for you. Okay, and within each folder, uh, it's designated for something specific. For example, your scenes, your 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 work file, is in the is saved under scenes. Then you have uh, like temp templates, your images, your source images. Your images is where your render your rendered images go into. Say you have an animation sequence, it goes into your images folder. Your source images is your images that you use for textures for your um, image plane all of that uh, then there's a folder for render render data folder for your sounds clips blah 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 all this stuff okay and it's, the hierarchy is uh or, or at least for pcs it's documents and then maya projects and then the project your project current project okay uh, ignore all this stuff so let's just go over that one more time file and uh, see this project window here's your project window by default it should be uh, I forgot what it's called but there's a default folder we're not gonna use the default folder we're gonna set a new project folder setup so let's go to folder I mean file and set project okay all right so file set project okay so i already got some setup all right for example default like i said before it has all of this we're not going to use default because we're going to make a new project for each new project and here's another one i made for another project all right oops let me undo that damn it Ignore that. All right, so file, set project. Here, 
create new folder. All right, let's name it, name it your name. I'm gonna name it Adidas uh, underscore project, okay? So your name, the project name, and then project, okay? So that's why I named it. And then you're gonna set, make sure it's selected and you're gonna set. Okay, soon as you do that, Maya is going to give you a warning saying um, uh, it does not contain a project definition file, a workspace.mil. So you need that workspace.mil uh, for Maya to set up all those folders and stuff. So you're going to go just create default workspace. Okay, so it made that. But in addition, you do have to go through one more step. Okay, because if I go into say, um, uh, hold on one second. Okay, so let's say uh, documents, Maya, and then say projects, and then uh, the one we just made right now. There's nothing in here, there's no folder. So you're thinking, what happened to my folders? Shouldn't there be that list of folders, right? If I was just learning this uh, Maya now, I would think that. But here's our workspace. So what you have to do is you have to go back in here, File, Set Project. No, no. File, Project Window. Okay, right. File, Project Window, and then Accept. You have to do that. It's, it seems redundant. It is redundant because now here it is. Okay. So whatever you whatever you save is now going to save under Maya projects, your new project directory you made, and under scenes and whatever whatever images that we need to use, we're going to grab it from your source images folder that we just made. Okay. So. Let me find, here's our Adidas logo for class. I'm gonna hand this out. All right, I'm gonna copy it. And then let me go back. And here's our direct project directory folder we just made. Go to source images and paste it in. Okay, so there it is. So for Max, it's pretty similar. Slightly different, but the idea is the same. So we're gonna close that out. All right, so that's already eight minutes. A little longer than I expected. Uh, from here, let's go to create. Uh, where are you? Come on. All right, free image plane. I believe that's what it is. Right. Okay. So again, create free image plane. There it is. This is your image plane. And I'm gonna hit W. W pulls up the um, uh, handles, okay? And I should go over how to navigate in here. Yeah, yeah I really should. <sighs> All right, so, I mean, I made another tutorial how to navigate, but let me just go over it one more time. So the way how I just rotated in there is I hold on the Alt key, that's for PCs. For Macs, it's probably Option. And you also need a, a three-button three, three button mouse, okay? Where there's a middle mouse, usually there's a scroll wheel on it. You, you hold on Alt, and then let's say, also hold on the middle mouse button. This is to pan, left to right, up and down, like that, okay? Then let go, you, you, then you hold on Alt again. And, the, and then you click and hold the left mouse button while holding on the Alt key or the Option key. And then you click and hold the left mouse button together. This is how you rotate. You can let go of it and you can still rotate. But always hold on the Alt key, key thing. And if you notice here, this is your view cube. This is kind of like your navigation compass. Right now we're facing front. And if I rotate this way, we're facing left. If I rotate again, we're facing back. If I rotate again, we're facing right. And back to front, this is your top view, okay? 
This is your bottom view. Okay. All right. Then you can also zoom in. Again, that's holding down the Alt key and the right mouse button together at the same time. You kind of drag, kind of, yeah, drag, shift, not shift, but uh, you hold down the right mouse button too. And you kind of go up and down with your mouse cursor. See that? Or left to right. You can zoom in. Okay? That's how you navigate, which I should go over it, you know? All right, so that's 10 minutes already. All right, so back to the image plane. I select my image plane, okay? And it's facing front. All right, here's my front. And here's the arrow facing front. Front, front. All right, so it's centered to the 3D world. Uh, from what I want to do here is uh, now next thing i want to go into edit uh, go to windows workspaces reset general to factory default okay so that's windows workspace reset to factory default and this is going to give us our factory default so everyone's on the same page all right so from there uh these tabs here shows the channel box, attribute editor, and the modeling toolkit. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go to the attribute editor. Pop that open right there. Okay. Um, from there, the attribute editor basically it pulls up whatever attributes are related to the thing that you have selected. So this image plane it has attributes to it, and we're gonna throw things into those attributes. So, uh, attribute editor. Okay, you click on that tab. Here is, first tab is your image plane. Ignore this, we don't need to do, we don't need to mess with anything here. We're gonna go to the image plane shape, the actual thing about this. So, image plane, attributes, image name. We're gonna click on this folder, click on that. Now, as you can see, it automatically went through our uh, specific project folder directory and to our source images, okay? They ID this project, source images. We're gonna grab that. Here it is. I'm gonna hit open. And I'm gonna zoom out, alt and, and right mouse button holding down. And there it is. That is how you set up your uh, image plane, okay? All right, so, I think that's the end of this tutorial.